So here's just a very quick follow-up to the Amiga 500 which I got in the, uh, that cheap score. With all that stuff and those tons of floppies for 36 euros in total which is dead cheap for all this. And uh, well, a lot of people have asked me to, uh, what to do and what to look out for if they get themselves an Amiga 500. Well, um, actually nothing really. First of all, um, since it's just the Amiga 500 model, uh, everything's fine. There is not the uh, same issue with the um, A500 Plus or the 2000 or 4000 or some other Amigas which have the battery on the motherboard. The Amiga 500 itself does not have a battery on the motherboard, but there's one thing you definitely want to look out for, and that is the battery on the RAM expansion. Now, um, as you can see, the me is just flipped up, and I've removed the trapdoor. And well, if you know what Amiga is, you probably know how to uh, remove this. It just gets pulled out, so nothing really hard to do. Um, and a lot of people um, <laughs> that I've also. Uh, have good contact with um, have forgotten this. The, the real time clock on the RAM expansion needs a battery to function. I mean, what happens if you switch the uh, Amiga off? This thing has to continue operating, but uh, it can't do that without a battery or a very large capacitor. Now, supercapacitors back then didn't exist, so let's do uh, a small checkup. Now at first glance the battery looks fine, but um, let's look a little bit closer and uh, you'll see that the battery has started to get a white crust on one side. Now um, that crust you actually see that are crystals from the battery acid and this is very very dangerous for any type of PCB or circuit board because this acid will eat through the PCB through the traces and will basically just uh, eliminate all those traces or damage them quite a lot or in the worst case the battery might even go into the chips and you do really not want that battery in those chips because well it can be fixed but trust me you do not want to do that that's a lot of effort and it also takes a lot of time. So what you do if you see that your battery has started to leak or uh, if you just recently bought an Amiga definitely take off the battery. You do not know what the previous owner has done with it except if he said he just replaced it but still check it. I mean people can say anything. So warm up your soldering iron and desolder this battery. I'm just gonna do that right now. No idea where to put the camera. And you can even tell that uh, if a leakage has started by just smelling uh, the board, because uh, battery acid has a unique smell and it's just not smell very good so then you know something is wrong so I basically just always heat up the pin pull out the battery on one pin and do the same thing on the other side and there we go we have the battery removed here we can have a better close-up now this definitely is dangerous for any type of circuit board not just the Amigas and a lot of Amiga 500 Pluses have died because of that specific issue that these batteries don't age well. So, what to do now? Well, either you can put in a new battery or you can get yourself a lithium uh, coil, uh, lithium coins uh, kit. Or, uh, as I've done it in my Amiga 500 Plus, where is it? I don't know. I have installed a super capacitor 5.5 volts, 1 farad. And that uh, will definitely last to uh, three or four days or two, no, two to four days. 
And well, if the Amiga is powered off, if you power the Amiga on, it will definitely it will recharge a lot faster. And there are no uh, chances that that capacitor will leak because it's a capacitor; it can't leak. Only the SMD capacitors that were used in the Amiga 1200 or the 4000 they are not that great, and those can leak. But the capacitor I've installed is, and what you can install in here are a lot different, so they can be. And you can just leave the circuit board like this, because um, the Amiga 500 doesn't really need the real-time clock to function. That is only a personal preference. If you have want a real-time clock, put in a new battery or a supercapacitor. But if you put in a new battery, uh, always make sure that this doesn't happen. 